over time, like I've developed like a morning routine and I've put headspace around that morning routine. Mm. And like when you were mentioning like the, the, the Swiss eight before, I was thinking like for me, what I would value at some point is, is a morning routine, but like a specific point in there. Yeah. And it all relates back to like looking after yourself in the morning. We discussed this earlier, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Like looking after yourself in that morning time and being like selfish to be selfless just just pays off so much like I, now we have the beauty of, of waking up here and, and going outside and and getting some vitamin d mm -hmm. um as soon as my feet touch that, that that sand on the beach i'm writing out a gratitude list and, and smiling you know it's like yeah just these little things and, and and so let's 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 pause there and talk about your morning routine like what do you do for a morning routine how does that serve you why did you start doing that so yeah so it all starts for me. My morning routine starts in the evening. Um, and why is because I know that I can't settle in the evening. My why, my why in the morning is because I can't settle in the evening. Mm -hmm. And there's a host of things that we can do in the morning to make the evening better, whether it's we're looking at sleep, like circadian rhythms and all this. So um, the why was, was definitely that. It just comes like nine, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And if I haven't done these things in the morning, and if I have a, have a coffee too late, we can get into that. If I have a coffee a bit too late, then that's just a, a whole other dimension for me. But the what I do in the morning is I express gratitude. Um, well, actually, let's go in order. So mm -hmm. the first thing I do is take 10 deep breaths. Like the first Whilst thing, you're still in bed, like yeah, as soon as your eyes sat, open? Sat up, take 10 deep breaths. Are you listen to, uh, does your alarm go off or you no, start I, an alarm? I'm synced in, I'm yeah. synced in. Yeah. So let's, let's pause there for a second because that's a, that's a great point, man. Like you have your circadian rhythm, which is your body clock. And I'm assuming that you've been waking up at the same time yeah. for a long period. So yeah. your body just attunes to that. Yeah, and it's like yeah. One, of, one of the biggest habits I do with, with clients is go asleep and wake up inside of the same 30 minute window every day. Yeah. Yeah. And the idea is to make that as small as possible, but it's, yeah. it's always good to say. So I, I done that and when I first was, was doing online coaching, because it was the way I released it, I was going to sleep at like 6 a.m. Thai time. Oh, fuck. And everyone was 11, 8 o'clock in England because I was messing everybody trying to kick the business. And then over time, like when I first met you, that's where I was. And then over time, it's just like 15 minute windows all the mm -hmm, way back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then next thing, I'm now six months down the line from that, it's 6, 6.30 every single day. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't even have to think. I know if I go to sleep at this time, 11.30, I'm yeah. up 6.30 and it's yeah. just into this routine. Yeah, it becomes habit. Habit, The yeah. more you do something, the more it becomes habit, the yeah. less you have to think about it, the yeah. fucking more like willpower you have. Because we, I was, I was reading something on psychology. Uh, I've got a psychology book that I'm like 50, the most influential uh, psychology, whatever, yeah. um, that I was reading yesterday. And they were talking about that point is like willpower is finite. So if you are making sure. decisions, earlier in the day yeah. then you get to the end of the day you've used up all your decisions yeah. and now you're much easier to be swayed towards eating shitty food or not exercising or yeah. whatever it might be what are you laughing at just that is like you know, yeah the, that little window is like as your willpower goes as the day goes on the willpower gets less isn't yeah. it? And yeah you can relate that into a week you can relate that into a year it's the same sort of thing at the start it's like the start of the year goals 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 at the end of the year party drink eat mm -hmm. relax same sort of thing in the morning. It's like, okay, I'm up and ready to go. When it comes to around seven, eight at night, I might, I might eat a bit of chocolate sometimes. I might do a few things that yeah. um, I wouldn't highly recommend every single day, but willpower at that point is a thing. Um, but also I think I like to live 80 to any man. Oh, hundred percent. I think that's important. That's balance, man. God, I think that's, it, that's that balance. But you know, going back to what you were just saying, we build these habits and we want our habits to be the path of least resistance. Yeah. You know, so that means we want to build good, positive habits that are going to have a flow on effect to all of these other things. We, we spoke about it, man, like everything is connected. Um, something you talked about earlier was the, the, the fitness. When I did the fitness, then it started, had this flow on effect to these other things. Yeah. Back then it was a mindfulness, had this flow on effect. That's the important, importance of cornerstone habits. So how I like to explain cornerstone habits is if you're trying to build a pyramid, a cornerstone is one of that one of those first blocks that you put in and that block then creates another positive effect somewhere which creates another positive effect somewhere which creates another positive effect somewhere and then yeah like 
you know, for you, it was fitness, it was exercise. You started exercising, um, or sorry, you started doing the mindfulness stuff back then, and that put you in a better headspace. And then you're like, all right, well, I'm feeling good. Now I don't want to do drugs. I don't want to get on the piss. Maybe I might go on train because I feel good. Oh, I just trained. I feel good. I feel even better now. I'm going to make sure I eat good food. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm feeling awesome. I might go for a jog down on the beach or whatever it might be. Like these positive habits have a flow on effect. And if you can choose, if you can find like one of these cornerstone habits that does impact all of these other principles, like that's where you should be investing your time and energy. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's like, like with this type of stuff, the habits, it's not something that's, again, small thing done consistently over time because results I'll always repeat that but it's something that it's overlooked that just, that just rolled off your tongue yeah. super quick bro. It, it, yeah. <laughs> slow it down again for the audience short, short <laughs> thing, small things done consistently over time equals results and I will always repeat that I repeat that to my clients quite a lot and it's it's creating a sustainable realistic um, lifestyle like people tend to put themselves on something and be so rigid and then if they don't if they come out of the thing that they're on whether it's a diet whether it's I'm doing six gym workouts this week. It, it's not always realistic and sustainable. And yep. it, it's breaking stuff down and being like, okay, well, for the first month of training, are you going to do 24 workouts and only only have one day off a week? Or are you going to do three to four workouts a week yeah. spread out at about 60 to 90% of your max over a period of time? Yeah, That's more realistic, isn't it? And mm-hmm. I think like with the habits and stuff, people think, well, I couldn't get to meditate for 30 minutes. I couldn't get to do yoga like this. I couldn't get to lift weights like that. And it's like, well, you could do if you start now and aim six months ahead. If you do yeah. something consistently over time for it for a six, six to eight months, you'd be surprised at the progress that you can actually cover in that time. Yeah, that's a great point, man. Is And, you know, we, we've already touched on it, progressive overload. Yeah. You know, what I do with my clients is, hey, what's one thing? What are we working towards? All right, working towards this. Where are you now? I'm here. How do I close that gap? How do I get from A to Z? All right, maybe I go from A to C and then C to H. Yeah. The path that I take is going to be completely different with every single person. But yeah. the point is, it's about moving in the right direction. And something I'll say to my clients is, what's one thing that you can do consistently for the next two weeks? Uh, every fortnight I have a client call. What's one thing that you can do consistently for the next two weeks that's going to move you in the right direction? Yeah. Or what's one thing that you can stop doing for the next two weeks that's going to stop you from sabotaging yourself? That's all I want you to focus on. Yeah. All right, cool. Next call. Hey, have you achieved that? Yes, I have. Sweet. Let's layer on top of that. Yeah. Okay, we can either extend that one thing, whether it's going from two minutes of meditation to three minutes of meditation, whether that's taking your waking heart rate every morning, whether that's drinking a liter of water before eight o'clock, whether that's you know turning your phone off at nine o'clock every night, whatever it might be, like every single client's different, yeah. right? So it's just about picking and choosing and working with them, man, and finding um, the thing that is going, the one thing that is going to get them moving in the right direction or stop them moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. And then building that foundation and then layering upon that. Yeah. I think like what you mentioned there, I think I mentioned this to you a couple of days when I'd when I seen you last. So I picked this up a while ago, um, and this is why I tend to do every Sunday, and it's habits, rituals are all the way to back. So you touched on two of them, um, I think you touched on definitely two of them, and maybe the third, but stop, start, continue. So mm. what's one habit that I can stop this week? What's mm. one habit that I can start this week? And what's one habit that I can continue this week? And then exactly what you just said, man, layer on it. So it could be as simple as like, um, just what I've, what I've said. So my stop this week was eating sugar late at night, because mm. I started training again today. Mm. Yes today yesterday um so then my my uh, start this week was start training again this week and my continue was my my uh, my morning routine which yeah. we touched on as well so they it's recognizing your own habits and if you've got like a spouse or, or you're living with somebody like they can sort of join in with you i think this is something that's it's is a really good thing to do like socially as well because your own your okay you're you're, you're you're the outcome of all your habits but if people are around you, you're surrounding them with your energy and their habits as well. Mm. So if you can sync these like sort of things into relationships, it gets so much better because everything starts to sink in a little bit more. And then, as we said, like transfers over to, to different um, areas as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. 